I'm Pam. You must be Kramer. And Jerry has uh, told me a lot about you. Well, uh, I'm supposed to meet Jerry. It's my day off. I work in a bookstore. Hi. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. Uh, Kramer, let me in. You know, if we rush, we can still make the movie. Okay. It was really nice meeting you. I just met a woman. Go on. Well, she's Jerry's girlfriend. I don't know the woman, but she sounds quite fetching. I can't even speak in front of her. Jerry! What could she possibly see in Jerry? She has delicate beauty. Jerry wouldn't know delicate beauty if it bludgeoned him over the head. And yet, he's my friend. And therein lies the tragedy. For I believe... Sadly for you, that there is but one woman meant for each of us. One perfect angel for whom we are put on this earth. Oh, that's beautiful, Newman. One winsome tulip <laughs> we ceaselessly yearn for throughout our dreary workaday lives. And you, my friend, have found your angel. I can tell, for my heart has also been captured by a breathless beauty whom I fear I will never possess. I thought we were talking about me. No. Right. Kramer, you have to confront Jerry. Confront Jerry? I can't. You must. I won't. You will. Elaine, you gotta have a baby. Ugh. You know the poetry magazines? The New Yorker has poetry. Yes, the New Yorker. <laughs> Why do you invite these women over if they annoy you so much? Well, they're my friends, but they act as if having a baby takes some kind of talent. Come on, you want to have a baby. Why? Because I can? It's the life force. I saw a show on the mollusk last night. Elaine, the mollusk travels from Alaska to Chile just for a shot at another mollusk. Did you hear anybody? Yes. I think I am better than the mollusk. <laughs> I can help overhearing what you're saying. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I think I agree with you. I mean, all this talk about having babies. You know, like you must procreate. It decides anyone can do it. Oh, it's been done to death. <laughs>